so it's probably a little late to be doing my monthly favorites, but like, what are rules? What are guidelines? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to start off with the things that are a little bit more random before I get to beauty land. Let's start with this cliff bar. Uh, there's no actual cliff bar to show you because I've eaten them all. But it is the uh, chocolate chip peanut crunch cliff bar. I essentially eat these whenever I A, don't have time to eat a real meal, or B, I'm going to be eating a real meal but it's going to be super late. Or C, I'm at work or something and like I want something that's semi good for me that'll give me energy so like I don't snack on mindless crappy things. Um, this is the shit. This tastes friggin delicious. It's essentially like my answer to reaching for a chocolate bar. Instead of reaching for a chocolate bar, I reach for this. It is my crack. I have gone through more than I would like to tell you. And I can will continue to keep going through more because I can't stop eating them. Like I look at this empty wrapper and all I can think about is consuming another one. So it's probably an unhealthy addiction, but I'll take it. I'll take it. The other favorites that I have are these rings that I'm wearing currently and have not been able to stop wearing since I purchased them. Um, there's one which is like this silver ring that has like a teardrop stone in the middle and it looks kind of like moonstone-y. Like in some lights the stone looks white and in other lights it looks like blue or green or something like that. I just think it's beautiful and like I wear it all the time. Like I wear it without even thinking about it, it just like goes right on my hand. Uh, the other one is this ring and it's like a small silver ring that has like almost like tribally looking itty bitty triangles in it. It's really delicate and you wouldn't notice the print on it unless you were looking really closely. Um, and they're just both beautiful. I bought them from a store called Tribal Voices Rhythms. Voices. Rhythms. Ooh, can't remember. I think it's called Tribal Rhythm. Anyways, there's tribal in the title and that's where I got it from. Um, the bigger one was $20 and this one was I think only $11. And they're just beautiful and I can't stop wearing them. I just can't. So now we're moving on to the beauty bits. Beauty and skincare land-ish. Um, there's not a whole lot. I don't know. I've been like... Meh. I've been pretty uninspired during the month of March in terms of uh, beauty. But uh, skincare, that's a whole other story. So first we'll start with this Soap and Glory Butter Yourself Body Butter. Uh, actually calls itself a body cream. And that is to be noted because it doesn't feel like a butter. It feels more like a mousse or like a souffle kind of deal. Like it's very whipped and airy. It smells friggin delicious. It smells like... I don't even know how to describe this. It smells fruity. It smells soap and glory-ish. You know what I mean? Like, it smells fruity and freaking fantastic. I can't get over it. It's so good. Ugh. Ugh. I just want to, like, bathe in it. Well, I kind of do bathe in it. Like, I do have a soap and glory shower gel that I like to use as well. But that is neither here nor there. I just really like this stuff. Um, next, we have some fragrance action going down. This is the Nest Fragrances Midnight Fleur uh, Eau de Parfum. This is a little baby size because my Sephora doesn't sell the full size. This just brings me all kinds of anger. But um, it's a little baby size. And holy moly mother of cannoli does this smell good. It's, it's like floral but like a more mature floral not like a... I'm a 13 year old and I just bought my first like body spray from Victoria's Secret kind of scent. And it has like amber and vanilla notes in there as well. So like it's, it's, it's like a sexy fragrance. Like it's, you put it on and you feel, you feel better looking already. Um, I just can't get over how good this is. Like I am absolutely going on Sephora.com and ordering the full size immediately because it is unreal. It is so good. I don't even have words for it. I've also been loving this little guy. This NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the shade Crystal Hip. I mentioned this in my haul which should be up before this video goes up I think. 
but I mentioned this in my haul and I have been using it non-stop okay not non-stop because that would be a little crazy it's like a clear base with like rainbow particles in it and I'm wearing it even a little bit today just underneath my waterline but in the first half of my eye I'll, I'll show you a little bit closer it is friggin awesome it glams up any look it instantly makes you look a little bit fancier it's really cheap and I like the finish so whenever I'm feeling sparkly this has been my go-to also in the world of liners another thing that I hauled in that last video has been my favorite I just hauled some gems y'all this is the Sephora colorful eyeliner waterproof I didn't know you were waterproof okay that makes some sense uh, waterproof in the shade pool boy pool I know the word pool is in here pool party pool party this has been so fun to wear first of all the brush is um, a felt tip brush which is normally not my favorite I normally prefer like real brushes but in terms of for something this bright and colorful the control that the felt tip gives me is probably preferable to the normal brush for liquid liners the pigmentation is out of this world like just just that was a big swatch what was I thinking but it's just right there and it's gorgeous gorgeous Mwah, mwah, mwah. it is so pretty you could be wearing no eyeshadow at all in fact that's what I prefer to do when I'm using this I wear no eyeshadow at all maybe I'll put a little bit of something dark in like my crease but pretty much no eyeshadow and then I'll just put this eyeliner on in a very thick line and then at the bottom half of that line I'll use some black liner and like that is it like that is my face and I just freaking Friggity friggin' love it. Especially because I'm not someone who normally, oh, this is waterproof as we just discussed and that's gonna be really a pain in the butt to take off. Um, especially because I'm not someone who experiments a lot with colors on my eyes. Um, I'll do it every once in a while, but for the most part, in terms of like walking around in the real world with like bright colors all over my eyes, like it's just not my thing. But this helps me introduce color in a way in which I don't feel like a crazy person. So that's always enjoyable. We have something that I already mentioned in last month's favorites, if I did a favorites video last month. If I didn't mention it last month, then I know I mentioned it the month before. Sometime in the past two months, I know I've mentioned this. It is what I'm wearing right now on my lips by Maybelline in the Nude Collection, and this is called Maple Kiss. And then I'm also wearing the gloss in the shade Nude Illusion, Nude Illusion. These two together have been pretty much my favorite thing all month. Like, I don't know when I became such a nude lover, but like... The time has come and now I just really love nude lips, but I love that this is like a darker shade of nude. It is not like gross and too bright or I have to tone it down with a brown liner. I can literally just put it on my lips and enjoy, which is nice. And it's very suited towards my skin tone. Um, together these are just the bomb.com and I've been really, really digging on that. Another weird favorite before I mention my last beauty favorite is my phone case. I don't know if you can tell. I have an iPhone 4S because, you know, I don't need to upgrade yet. My 4S is working just fine. It's doing good things for me. We have a good relationship. I don't need to upgrade. That might have sounded a little bitter, but it's not. I'm just genuinely happy with my phone. I have the iPhone 4S and I ordered this phone case off eBay. Um, I think it came from China and I've ordered things that have come from China before that have come they take some time, but like not anything crazy. Normally around three weeks, th normally around three weeks is how long it takes. I'm not kidding when I tell you this phone case took me a month and a half to receive. To the point where I was like sending angry messages to the seller being like, are you kidding me? Like, where is this? Like, I, I, I bought this a month and a half ago. I thought I would have this by now. Like, what is this? This is poor service. And I don't know like why it took so long. But eventually I got it and I had only spent like $5 on it. So like realistically if it didn't come, I wasn't going to like cry my heart out. But I still wanted it. And anyways, it's just like a brushed gold phone case. And I just, I really like it. Like it, it's just fun. And gold is so me. I just, I don't know, I just really like my phone case. It's like made me fall in love with my phone again. Do you know when you get bored of looking at your phone for too long and you're like, eh, this is just the... Uh, the case on here like I just don't have any shits to give about it but now that I have this new case on it I'm like oh my phone I do like you still um so yeah that's definitely a favorite but on to the last beauty favorite um 
It is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade N8, which is Cappuccino. I've heard so many good things about the L'Oreal True Match Foundations for so long and just ignored it. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I think it was because in my mind and in reality, I know that, they are, that I already have way too much foundation. Like I own too many foundations. So I've been trying to whittle it down, but I recently finished one of my foundations. I think it's something that MAC. And I was like, perfect, now I can buy a new one. So I went to go buy this, the L'Oreal True Match, and it's amazing. It's amazing. I don't know what else to say about it. I'm wearing it right now. Um, it's so lightweight, but has such good coverage, which blows my mind. For instance, something like Nars Sheer Glow has an amazing coverage, but it also feels kind of thick. This feels thin, like it feels watery but the coverage is still there. I feel like you get medium to full coverage with this. Like applied with a beauty blender, it is just flawless. You just look flawless. And I'm really loving this foundation. Essentially, whenever I want to apply it, I just take, shake it, take the lid off, dip it upside down onto my finger, take whatever's on my finger, dab, 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 maybe do that one more time, dab, 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 dab. Wet beauty blender, blend, 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 blend. Bada bing bada boom. There's my face. And I really need to use little found, um, little concealer after I'm done applying this. Oh my god, why did it take so long for me to start using L'Oreal True Match? I don't know what I did before you, but this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship between you and I. We're gonna go far together. We love you. So that's it for my favorites. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out my blog, Wait a Little. If you are into the blog situations, um, it's a beauty and fashion blog. It's like more of what I do on YouTube, but like more often. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram under the name Wait a Little as well. So follow me there if you feel like it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.